Hey everyone, what's going on? Today we are on Visadel Island, a beautiful travel destination. We did the flagging for this a long time ago, so I'm going to put the card up top with the link to that video. Um, but this is a really good hunting spot if you are a fresh level 130 like I am in the Bander League here, playing my Bander League character. I don't have melee defense on this character, so I am using the natural terrain to my benefit. If you do have melee defense, these shallows, shredders are super easy to fight. They can be evaded pretty easily, and if you can evade them, you take no damage. But we're killing the gold ones, and they drop their gold fins. And also on Levis, just they drop leeches. It's like a, probably like a 50% chance to drop a leech. And we're going to try to collect 10 of those in our hunting. So the way I like to hunt out here is to target the Moorsmen and the Shredders. There are also Gold Nifis and Gold Remorans, but they cast a ton of spells and Volnu, and uh, it's kind of a mess to fight them. The Moorsmen and the Shredders can be fought much more easily. The Moorsmen, for some reason, have a very short leash, meaning they run away and then come back. The Nifis and the Remorans have a really long leash, so they will chase you, like, basically forever if you start fighting them. I don't really understand why. I actually remember hunting out here in retail with my kind of gimpy sword character that I never even made to level 275. This was a really good hunting spot. You got really good loot if you saw like when I looted the gold child of shredder they drop like 25 items so it's a great place to get salvage if you had a shield they did no damage to you um, so I really like to just kind of run along the shoreline here pulling you can see my v senses up I, I'm looking for gold shallow shredders gold remorans I also have some other monsters in my v-sense which is for kill tasks so there's four kill tasks on this island for benic nifis for shallows gorgers for remoran sea raptors and for one of the moorsmen i forget which but those those can be rewarding and they each reward a title so it's worth doing once it's not really worth like going out of your way to try to hunt them it's a minimal experience and the gold the golds are much better when i'm out here hunting i just slowly make my way along the coast to the southeast and that's kind of taking us towards our goal which is to make it to the deep so the deep is where we're going to turn in these gold fins and gold morseman teeth when turbine released to the Dark Isle, which is the level 150 version of Visadel. They made a lot of improvements. The deep on Dark Isle is right at the drop, whereas the deep here is like in the middle of the island, in the most dangerous part of the island, which is kind of fun to like run to and to fight your way there, but not great for the turn in. It can be tough, and I'll show you that later on in the video. So here's a fun thing that happens. You can see all these gear knights, corrupted Imperian gear knights. This is a custom thing on Levistress. So there's an NPC in the town network and they'll give you like a device. And then when you have that device at different spots, kind of anywhere on the map, you can randomly spawn an unstable exit gate, which also spawns these corrupted Imperian gear knights. And they shoot you know, lightning bolts and they vuln you for lightning, but it's a really, really good leveling quest. They, um, they're eventually a commander spawns or a captain, I forget, and drops a crystal. And then you 
turn the crystal back in in town network and it's usually like 300 million experience or something so uh, really really good bonus for leveling so running into that out here on top of the golds and on top of the visadel leeches this is super rewarding for leveling up so you can see kind of in the distance there they just spawned and i i just used my beef sense to find them switch rocks this is definitely pretty hectic there's like all these guys trying to fight me corrupted Empyrean gear knights they look kind of cool they have like two heads they have an Empyrean head on top of a gear knight head but if you ignore the gear knight head for a little bit then it's not a big deal so there's two waves of regular corrupted Empyrean gear knights and then a wave with the captain or commander spawns there it is, Captain. And then we can go back to our regularly scheduled gold hunting. Kind of fun to show off the custom content on top of the regular turbine content. I think this is where Levistress does such a good job of like tastefully adding stuff where it doesn't really take away from your retail Asheron Skull experience. Like I can still have my memories of hunting out here and it's similar to that, but then adding valuable rewards that make the leveling process a lot better and the leveling process from 130 to 150 is can be really slow and there's not too many good quests there's glenda wood invasion and you know there are a few but this just makes it so much smoother and there's the unstable portal fragment that we were after so now let's head to the deep so it's this is the most densely spawned portion on the island and of course this is where you have to go to turn in and get your rewards but it's in this rock outcropping straight ahead and there's four npcs for the kill tasks are here so if you want to do the kill tasks you have to run out here first talk to all four npcs and then you can be flagged to start the kill tasks so what I found is a good way to turn in items at the deep is to actually use Verindy item tool because there's always a ton of monsters on me. And because the deep is like this, I don't know, like mist, it's really hard to see him and you can drop the golds on the ground and then they can slide down the ramp and you can just lose them because you can't get to them. So I found that Verindy item tool is a great way to make this turn in a lot smoother. And then for the final thing, we're just going to head to Town Network and we will turn in our own leeches that we got. So the NPC Zixius the Collector, Zix, Zixius the Collector, spawns in the empty section of the show wing of Town Network on Levistress. Only spawns at night and you can get unlucky where they actually don't spawn. So that is a little bit annoying, but uh, still worth doing. There's no reason to collect more than 10. He takes all of the leeches that you have. So just collect 10 and then hand them in. You Once you hand it in, the timer doesn't start. The timer starts for turn in, but you can pick up more. So it's worth going back out and continuing to hunt. So that's Vistadel Island. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.